good kitten internet. This good kitten's eating. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a keyboard. This keyboard has clacky switches, specifically blue style switches. It's not actually a Cherry MX Blue, it's uh, off brand. So it makes a bunch of clacky sounds. This is what's referred to as a 10 keyless keyboard. So there is no number pad over on the right side here. And it's USB. See? USB plug. There are a lot of different preferences when it comes to keyboards. This particular one is um, LED backlit um, with many, many, many colors as options. Uh, you can make it go through a bunch of different patterns. I don't have it plugged in right now, so I can't really show you. But actually, one moment, let me plug it in. All right, now that I have something I can plug this into, just plugged into my tablet to make things easier. Some keyboards have a bunch of lights. With, you know, little things going on. And some people like that, some people don't. Some people like kitties, some people don't. Some people like the clacky sounds. Some people prefer different feeling ones. Some people prefer entirely different styles. Some people prefer having cats that interrupt their video. Right, son? Right. But keyboards, at least when you're deep into the IT field like I am, everybody seems to have a preference. Even no preference is a preference of some sort. It just means that you don't particularly feel like taking the time to figure out if you have your own preference usually, or the differences for you are so minor it doesn't really matter. Everybody has their own... Really can't. Everybody has their own way that they like various different devices, just like everything else in the world. And there's nothing wrong with these particular varieties of things. If you prefer clacky keys like I do, great. If you prefer a number pad here, that's great too. I don't have a number pad here because this particular keyboard is used for portability reasons. Um, I just need to get a case to go over the entire thing. And really, I should move this out of the way and focus more on the kitty. So I don't have a bunch of cat hair inside of the keyboard again. But what I'm trying to get at is that preferences, especially personal preferences like that, there's nothing wrong with people having different opinions on. Somebody's opinion as to whether keyboards should have a whole bunch of different colors or not does not invalidate somebody's life. The idea that somebody wants a keyboard with, say, quieter switches doesn't mean that they're going to discriminate against people who prefer keyboards of louder switches. What I'm trying to say is that personal preferences are neat, don't troll people over them, but the moment that they start going into the crazy territory of, you know, my preference means that you shouldn't have a right to exist, Screw them. So I was supposed to do, um, you'll notice that there was a vlog missing yesterday. And the reason for that is that I actually did do a vlog. I uploaded it and everything, but I decided that I hated it because I wanted to give my label series more attention than I was able to give yesterday. So I'm going to go back and do that again at some point. It may even be after Vita's done, but I wanted to give it the attention it deserves. Just like I want to give this kitty the attention he deserves. Good night, Internet. I'll see you next time.